What's going on everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for I was about to say the Real Housewives of to Madison. Uh, so, like I said, I did not take notes for this first part because I'm, I'm trying to edit the video for Real Housewives and actually try to fix myself a late night snack before I go to bed and all the other shit. I know y'all don't care about that. So, let me see. We got quiet. Still ain't got no motherfucking baby. And if I heard correctly, I think uh, her brother and his wife have moved in. Y'all get me together in the comments if I got that wrong because again I was kind of in and out for that part uh, Toya and her husband you know Snorlax they old six figures to the motherfucking IRS we'll hear more about that later but they just physically opened up their uh, I think a uh, nomad uh, IV treatment uh, facility so there's that what else Jackie uh, sold her house but has such short time so she and her husband had to move into an apartment now since they've been living in now she wants a high rise and all this other stuff and you can start to see there are issues there and we know based on the trailer that they gonna be going through it this season have I fucking missed anybody I, th I think I done wrapped up everybody that motherfucking quick we'll be right back oh, the, oh, the, oh this look like it's gonna be a, a lively fucking episode I think it will be here for it so uh, Dr. Heavily, she uh, is running down the list of shit that she does. I'm telling y'all, she is the fake part of this fucking Bravo franchise. I, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I didn't say it once, I'm saying it again. I only have one question. Um, Dr. Heavily, if you ever watched this, or if anybody from her camp watched it, what happened to that motherfucking app you started on uh, last season? See, see, again, she the fake part where she would start a profession or she would start up some shit. And then conveniently, it don't exist the next damn season. Y'all tell me if y'all caught that. I might be wrong. We might hear about it later, but I'm just saying. So, there's that. She lost some old weight, so that's not that's cute. Moving on. Lisa Nicole. So, her whole thing is she wants to have a baby. And, um, yeah. She's not going to tell her real age. And, again, you know, one thing about women, again, this is absolutely no shade, but most women never want to discuss, you know, their age. It is what it is. But it's one of those where age came up several times, one from Dr. Heavily and then the other from uh, Dr. Jackie. And, you know, she is whole, she, she wants this baby, wants to have a, a party about, I guess, wanting to have a baby. I ain't never heard no shit like that, but again, I guess we just gonna sit here and throw money at left and right, have fucking want to. Look, here's the they got more money than I motherfucking do, so I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna count nobody's motherfucking paper. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. But what I am gonna say is I think it's a little crazy, and part of me gets the feeling that she is trying to do this to make up for something in the marriage or trying to use this baby to save her marriage or even keep her husband at home. I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Then we have uh, Dr. Simone, so they have a second house. Now, I'm sitting back just like, hold the fuck on now. I know damn well. But uh, Dr. Cecil, is, it, is he a doctor? Cecil, damn it, I'm sorry. It's, shit, it's fucking uh, 925. Hopefully, I will, have it. I will at least have the video like trying to upload by 10.30. So I'll be the fucking big. I got to be up if, if, at the latest 4.30 to be at the gym at 5. Stack two workouts. I'm telling y'all, two merch, but I'm just saying. So y'all understand my frustration in my life. But they have a second house, and the whole point of it is, uh, in terms of the commute, the second house is closer to the kids' school, <clears throat> so it's more beneficial to them. So Cecil's with the boys, and Dr. Simone is at the uh, other house, their original house, and that is a closer commute to uh, work. And <clears throat> Dr. Cecil said, you know, he had uh, some property someplace else. Forget what the fuck is that, really don't matter. He sold that property, had money just sitting in the bank account. And they just decided to buy another motherfucking house now. I mean, y'all get me together. Because I his, I didn't know this or the households coming back on. I was watching Much Love from Nina. And I think it was she that mentioned it. Much Love KY, I'm sorry. And I think it was she that mentioned it. And I'm saying like, weren't y'all having financial difficulties before? And now we just sitting here throwing money at the... Again, I'm not counting nobody motherfucking money. We'll be back. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Toya and... uh. Quad pretty much catching up with each other. So Quad uh, pretty much reveals that, you know, her uh, younger brother is uh, staying with her. So, I mean, I did get that much right. Uh, Toya feels kind of way because she feels like, I guess it's good girlfriends, friends, whatever, that um, <clears throat> she should have already known about the brother, let alone 
been by Chris Hill to, you know, see, you know, uh, her brother. And then <clears throat> she also mentions that she has her own problems where, and again, I'm trying to figure this out. So if I'm not mistaken, so they had their account. Uh, her husband signed up power attorney for someone else to oversee their accounts and taxes were not being paid. I think I got the gist of it. If not, y'all let me know if I got that right. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Again, I don't, I don't have those. Uh, like I said, you know, when you got money like that, you got them problems. I ain't got them problems. Okay? I got my own problems. I ain't got them problems. <laughs> but... Uh, you talk about that, Quasi and Confessionals, you know, throwing her a little bit of shade. We uh, now have Lisa and Dern, and, you know, he's been working longer shifts and whatnot, so he hasn't been able to, you know, spend a whole lot of time with her, both, you know, uh, physically and physically, if you uh, catch my trip. And she brings up the whole pregnancy thing, and, you know, he hits her with, you know, just the whole medical standpoint of, look, with your condition, you know, these clots, they could rise up to, I think, the lungs or whatever, stop you from breathing, and then you die. You, we have two kids. They need you. I need my, you know, wife, all these different things. But she is gung-ho about having these children and also wants to have this party. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be a quickie of a review. Here's the thing. A lot of it is revolved around this whole fucking party and whatnot. Before I get to the party, I think I forgot to mention, did, um, did Toya really make a comment? In the in along the lines of saying the Arabs let their kid let their family or whatever stay till they or what I'm hoping I didn't hear because I I probably should address it when I thought that I heard anyway this fucking party everybody feels a kind of way Dern feels a kind of way about the whole entire thing because he does he doesn't want no fucking kids let's call it fucking spade spade he wants no kids wants nothing to do with that. So it comes up in conversation and of course we need a turn up for the very first episode to keep people wanting to come back for more or at least hinting towards something in the very next episode and it's being talked about I'm trying to remember who but someone had asked for the doctor's opinion since there are OBGYNs there about her particular situation Lisa Nicole starts to get on the defense. Dr. Duran tries to say something about pension. Dr. Duran. And then we have Toya. No, it was Dr. Heavily that did it. She popped the shit off. So then you have uh, Toya who wants to, you know, ask questions and, you know, pretty much just kind of like throw her two cents in and saying how, you know, y'all already got two. And I mean, you already got somebody taking care of your kids. And all this other stuff, hinting, you know, the whole nanny thing, hinting that she does not take care of her kids, then those two go out. Now, where I got lost at, because I was trying to, like, really understand where the conversation was going, I don't know how Kwa got involved. I don't know how Kwa got ushered into the particular discussion, but when she did and said her piece, then Dr. Simone, that whole zero to a thousand, I think it was just, you know what, the cameras are there, let me get a moment right the fuck now since I am known for and I got that you friends with Quad, but you know, you don't always have to sit here and go in on your friend in front of other fucking people. You feel what I'm saying? So I really feel like that was just let me have a TV moment. Quad channel her inner Tamar talking about some get your live. I'm about to tell your whole face off this and third. We all knew they weren't going to do shit, especially if you don't have security, counter, you know they ain't finna do shit. They weren't finna do shit. It was a whole lot of this, this, this. And that pretty much is what it is, but what Dr. Simone was trying to say or more or less get at, I mean, the delivery could have been a hell of a lot better, but your husband is damn near 50. You need to worry about giving him a baby because you ain't that far off yourself and you're going to get to a point where you may not even be able to conceive. But when I say it, that was so much shade being thrown. This is why I didn't take notes because I want to sit here and I want to fucking enjoy the shit for my damn self. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this quickie. I apologize. It is not <clears throat> up to par. But I mean, like I said y'all have to understand my schedule in general because it is 10.03. I'm about to hurry up, splice it together, export, try to upload this before 10.30, wake up at 4 to get my mind centered, take my pre-workout, be at the gym at 5 to stack on two workouts because I don't work out on the weekend, so I got to put my Sunday workout on my Monday workout. 
and then I still have to do PT with my people. So pretty much Mondays is always three sessions stacked on top of each other and it's an early wake up for me anyway. So even trying to get through this can be a little bit much, but sometime this week expect me to um, give you guys the backstory and on pretty much where I've been for the last couple of weeks and everything that is encompassed in that. Also, um, I guess what's to come on this channel and even um, with my other channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see y'all next week, same time, same place. Peace.